It's been a while since we've done an edition of Inside Earlham College Athletics, and it's fitting we do one today as Mitch Blankaspor will be leaving Earlham College. He'll take a similar position, in fact, just across the border over in Ohio at Wilmington College. We want to talk a little bit about where the, certainly this program has gone over the last uh, two and a half years that Mitch has been here, and I know he's looking forward to his new adventure as well. You know, I kind of thought about this on the way over here today, two and a half years, and I look at all the things that have been, that have really transpired in your department in two and a half years. It's come a long way in that time. Yeah, it has, definitely, Troy. Uh, first, I want to say thanks to you. Uh, you know, we partner a lot together. For those of you who may not know, Troy gives myself and my office a lot of shout out, um, but we partner a lot. Um, my job is easier because of you and your job is easier because of me. That's I would right. like to think at least. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I, I'd also like to tell people uh, this is not an easy decision. Um, it's just one that is better for me and my family at this time. You bet. Um, so, yeah, like you said, I'll be going over to Wilmington. I will not be a stranger. Obviously, started the Quaker Bowl rivalry this year. It's kind of ironic that a couple months later I'll, I'll end up on the other side. Um, but I won't be a stranger. Sure, we'll see you around. Uh, but getting to some of the things um, that we've done or uh, that, that my office has really tried to do, like you said, two and a half years. I got here in July of 2015 and really did a completely, you know, rebrand. We have a brand-new website and... Um, brand new fonts and um, logo change is still underway. Uh, hopefully that'll get here there at some point. We got rid of the curse of EC in the baseball stadium um, and really just sort of got the office up to industry standard, you know, social media and graphically and things like that. Um, and it, it, it's been a fun ride, uh, one that I will miss greatly. Well, I'll tell you what, and, and you're right, and it's something that really had to be done if you want to keep up with everybody else. So that It's kind of the way things are in sports these days, but it was needed, too. I mean, it's something needed to be done yeah, in that area. Yeah, definitely, and, and I think the, the sports information or the athletic communications is sort of the new term. Yeah. Um, that'll be my term at Wilmington, the director of athletic communications, but it, it's really evolved. You know, 10 years ago, it was a lot more about making sure you have stats and making sure, you know, you, you update a website, and even 10 years prior to that, my boss, I, I went to Calvin College School, up in Michigan and he remembers faxing you know box scores into the paper yeah. um, which I'm sure you remember as, as a radio person um, so it, the industry has changed a lot now and really you know the the thing that makes it hard on people like like us is especially at this level is is we have to do everything yeah. you know and just because we've added social media and added graphics and added other things doesn't mean the other stuff went away right. you know we still have to do stats we still have to do all those other things and I think that's made it challenging, but one that, you know, you really have to stay in tune to what's what's needed and what's wanted and really ask yourself a lot of times, what is it we are doing and is it worth our time? And if yeah. the answer is no, then you gotta come up with something else. Right. And if you don't evolve, then you cease to exist. You know, that's kind of the kind of the age old theory. Um, so really things have changed quite a bit and I'm really happy uh, and can confidently say I think I'm leaving the office in a better spot than when I got yeah. here and that's that's all I can do. Yeah, I agree. And you know what the other thing about the office is you said it's so much different because you're a marketing person too and you're marketing the school, you're marketing the programs, not only to the city of Richmond, but the state of Indiana, the conference and the nation. Mm -hmm. So Yep, yep. And and I work with I'm sort of the athletics liaison with the marketing communications office and you know we, we have a lot of conversations about how athletics is just one of the things that attracts a student to Earlham, but it's a really important thing. You know, I, I take pride in, you know, my my office and myself's marketing efforts. You know, over 40% of the freshman incoming freshman class are athletes, yeah. and that's a high number for Earlham, as you know. You've been around this town quite a while, yeah. um, and that's good to see. I'm really excited for the direction the college is going, especially athletics' role in that plan. Uh, President Price, I've a lot of confidence that he's going to do really good things here. Um, and, and a lot of our teams in the past two and a half years have really improved. You know, obviously we had a baseball team win a conference and win an NCAA tournament game for the first time ever. But even this fall, you know, we talked about we've had a lot of programs that are making strides, and that's yeah. really exciting to see. We know not only the strides in, in the winning side, but you look at the facilities, everything is pretty much complete now, I would say, correct? Yeah, definitely. There's been a lot of facility upgrades. I've been really blessed to work in, in a lot of awesome facilities. I know you and I would have to, um, we, we, we could we could share stories stories over, uh, over an alcoholic drink or two about the, the soccer stadium situation. Yeah. We had to pack up cameras and rain and run over monsoons full of water in that field yeah. and that, you know, was all taken care of within the Matlock Messer Stadium, which has been really brilliant. Um, this year, obviously, Sadler um, and a lot of things have been really, the, the, the college is really putting resources into athletics because I think, you know, part of my job when I got here was try to let the college know that athletics is really important, mm -hmm. not only to the co-curricular life of a student athlete here at Earlham, but also to the financial health of the college, the enrollment health of the college, things like that. And I think 
that people are realizing that. And that's, it's a really exciting time to be at Earlham and I'm, you know, sorry to have to go um, at, at this time. Uh, but as I said, at, at, at this time, it's a best move for myself and my family. Hey, before we talk about uh, Wilmington, and mm -hmm. again, we're gonna see a lot of you because mm -hmm. uh, you look at the schedule, both teams, colleges play each other yep. a lot. Yep. Uh, your relationship, also with coaches, with athletes, mm -hmm. uh, you cross paths in so many different ways because you're not just promoting the sport, you're promoting those athletes too. Yeah, and, and, and the program and the coach as well. Um, I've made a lot of relationships at Earlham and a lot of people I'm going to miss working with. Yourself on a daily basis and our coaching staff, our administration, the marketing office and, and alumni relations and really everybody. I mean, Earlham has been a very, one of the the things that makes this campus special is, you know, the people. And I think yeah. anyone would tell you that, but especially here, given it's, you know, very non-hierarchical, one of the Quaker traditions is everyone, you know, call everyone by their first name. So yeah. it's not President Price, it's Alan, yeah. you know, or it's not, you know, Director of Athletics, Mike Burgum, it's Mike. Yeah. And I think that's been a really special thing for me as someone I really thank the college for giving, you know, myself as a young professional still, but even a couple years ago more so, a chance to run an office. Um, yeah. And that was really a valuable experience for me, but it wouldn't be, um, my experience here would not be as memorable for me if it weren't for the people. Yeah, no, no. Okay, you go to Wilmington, uh, similar position I understand, right? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So my last official day will be a week from today, actually December 4, and it's kind of why I wanted to say a goodbye to the Radio Troy listeners. Um, and again, it's been a great partnership, one that I'm sure will continue between yeah. our home and Radio Troy Digital Sports. Um, I love poking fun at yeah that 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 won't change. Uh, but yeah, so I'll start uh, actually the next day, so a week from tomorrow. Similar position, um, have ha has um, an assistant intern. I also get a chance to teach in their sport management program starting oh, next year, and that's my father and grandfather were all college professors. That's something I've always thought about doing. I went to college thinking that was the avenue I was going to take, and that sort of provides an exciting opportunity for me if I decide at some point in my career, as we talked about with sports, sports information, athletic communications, you know, continuing to grow, time demands are more and more. And if yeah. I decide that I want to take my career a different direction in the future, this provides me a chance to get my feet wet and say, you know, is this something I want to do, teach, or do I not like it? And I, yeah. I'll have that chance. Yeah, you got your master's while you're uh, that's here. That's correct. Yep. Yeah, yep. so that'll yep. all play into that yeah, exactly. as well. So, so. Well, he will be missed. And uh, certainly every time that uh, we come to a game, he makes my life a lot easier. and. And that's uh, try, try to at least. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of selfish, yeah. but it's very true. And it's always nice to know that I can walk into the press box or even come here to the basketball games and know everything's here waiting for me. Yeah. So good luck to yeah. you thank and you, to Janelle as well. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate good it very to, much. Good to know you for the last couple of yeah. Well, I guess uh, basketball. Women's basketball players here and the men's basketball players. Yeah, like that's kind of funny. Right? So, yep. So one of the one of the first events I will work is um, Earlham is actually going to Wilmington yeah. for a tournament um, the week before Christmas. So I'll get to see wow. um, that rivalry from the other side. And as you said, we started the Quaker Bowl rivalry. Men's basketball will start next year yeah. playing Wilmington. The football team opens up with Wilmington the next three years. Baseball, you always have the series to start yeah. the year. You know, things like that. Um, so again, I, I think just in closing, I really appreciate. Um, everything that Earl has done for me uh, professionally, uh, the partnership, as I said, with you both personally and professionally, um, and it's a place I'm going to miss a lot. All right. Mitch, thank you, yeah. sir. Thanks, Troy. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Not only Mitch, he got married, got his master's, all that stuff while he was here, the three rings of marriage he'll always remember. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, thanks for being with us right here on Radio Troy Digital Sports.